Hello and welcome. My name is Christina from Empowered Creator. I am a mindset and conscious manifesting teacher and coach, and this is my YouTube channel. Here I talk about all things law of assumption, mindset, conscious manifesting, the quantum universe, and a lot more. And my goal is to simplify everything without the fluff. So if you guys like this content and you would like to see more of it, I would love it if you would subscribe to this channel, comment on this video, like it, share it, and stick around. Also, if you need help with your specific situation, I offer one-on-one -on -one coaching, email coaching, as well as custom subliminals for whatever needs you may have. I also have a self-study mini course, Telepathically Connect with Your Specific Person. So if you're interested in any of these services, the links are below in the description box. Click on them and they're going to take you to my website. With all that being said, let's dive into today's video. In today's video, I want to talk about the difference between doing versus being when it comes to conscious manifesting. This is the difference between doing things such as techniques in order to get something versus surrendering to your state of the wish fulfilled and actually being the person whose wish is fulfilled right now. So this is what I'll be discussing in today's video. Stay tuned. So if you've been in the manifesting community for any amount of time, you have probably come across all those coaches who tell you do this, do that, do this technique, that technique, affirm 24 seven, affirm this, affirm that, or script or visualize, or it's very, very important to visualize, let's say in first person. And it's very important to do it at that specific time of the day or at that specific time of the night, because otherwise it might not work, etc., etc. Well, this advice does come from a well-intentioned place still, or at least I like to believe so. And of course, techniques are not a bad thing. They are a great tool and absolutely they have a place in conscious manifesting. I've said it before, especially if you're manifesting a desire or desires that you have resistance to, techniques can actually help you overcome that resistance. So I don't want you to think that I'm against techniques at all. I'm not. I use them myself. I recommend them to my coaching clients when I feel like they might need them. But at the end of the day, the purpose of doing all that we're doing is to get to a state of being. And that means getting to a state of feeling like we have our desire right now. And again, I've said that in other videos, that doesn't mean lying to yourself. That doesn't mean fooling yourself that your desire is here in the 3D right now if it is not. Rather, it's more like a positive expectancy and knowing an inner confidence an unshakable inner knowledge that your desire is yours, that it is coming and that it's going to manifest in your life because you have created it in your imagination. The problem I see with a lot of people manifesting their desires is that they give so much emphasis both on techniques. They do techniques all day long. They do this technique and that technique followed by that and that and that and that and they forget to live. I actually made a video about that a couple of weeks ago. But what is behind all this is actually a state of lack. It's a state of anxiety that I have to be doing more and doing more and doing more and doing more because if I'm not, I'm not going to get what I want. So the tendency and the urge to want to do more and be looking for more techniques and be looking for more answers and watching video after video comes from a place of insecurity and of not believing, at least not at this stage, that your desire can be yours. And the other thing a lot of people do is trying to push the 3D, trying to force things in the 3D, trying to strategize on how they can instigate a change. They try to plan, they try to calculate, they try to think about how they're going to behave in the 3D. And all of that, again, comes from a place of feeling like I need to be doing something in order to get something. Your goal as a conscious manifester is to get to a place where you are being, simply being the person who you have decided you want to be. That includes fulfilling yourself from within enough times with enough repetition and enough consistency over enough amount of time where you have reached a place where you're actually now feeling one with your desire and you no longer feel the need to do technique after technique. It might be enough for you to do maybe five minutes a day, or in some cases, you may not even feel like doing any techniques at all. And you're definitely feeling much more relaxed towards your manifestation and much more chilled about it. And you know that your desire is coming. Your desire is going to be manifesting in your 3D sooner or later. And you're at a stage where you give yourself permission to relax, you give yourself permission to chill, and you go about your life, you enjoy your life, you're living your best life with the positive expectancy 
that your desire is going to manifest. You know it's yours. You know it's going to come to your 3D reality. And so there's nothing to worry about. There's nothing to be afraid about. There's nothing to keep trying for. People who are in the being state may still take some action in the 3D. But the action comes from that state of being. It's what we call inspired action. It's not any anxious action to try and force things in the 3D or manipulate in the 3D or cause a change in the 3D. It's more the kind of action that feels spontaneous, more the kind of action that feels natural, the kind of action that you're not even second guessing. You might not even be realizing that you're taking this action at the moment you're taking it. You might realize it in retrospect. And overall, it's the kind of action that would be natural to the person you now are, to the person who now has their fulfilled desire. To give you a very simple example, I've told that to many of my coaching clients. When I decided I wanted to come on YouTube, I bought some software, I bought some equipment, I started learning how to make YouTube videos, I started learning how to edit the videos, I started learning how to market myself, and so on. And all of that was action, it was physical action in the 3D. However, it came from the state of, I am now a YouTube coach. So it wasn't any kind of forced action. It was the kind of action that was naturally fitting to a YouTube coach, to the state of being a YouTube coach. Also, the people who are in the state of being might also still do techniques. Again, though, they don't do the techniques as I need to be doing something in order to get something. Rather, they do the techniques because they find pleasure in them, because they find them fun, because they have fun with them, because they like them, because they genuinely enjoy them. They already know that their desire is theirs. They already know they don't need the techniques. They already know the seed has been planted, but they might choose to do the techniques from time to time or even every day, if that's what they choose, for the pure pleasure of it. So there's actually a difference. There's actually quite a distinct difference between being in a state of doing what I think I need to be doing in order to get something versus being the person who already has their desire or, or the person who has this positive expectancy and this sure, certain expectancy of getting their desire. The two are very different states. The first one is coming from a state of lack, a state of anxiety, a state of insecurity, a state of lack of belief in yourself and in the law. The second one comes from a state of certainty, a state of belief, a state of trust in the process, a state of knowing your inner creative power, a state of I know who I am, and as such, I know that I can be, do, or have anything that I decide. So I wanted to make this video to make this distinction and explain things a little deeper because even if you're still in the first category, your goal is to eventually get to the second category. Because this is the state, this is the mindset, this is the energy and the attitude that is going to start bringing your manifestations in so effortlessly, so seamlessly, so easily, and so quickly. It's not the state of effort and trying and putting work. It's the state of being that actually puts things into gear so much faster. With all that being said, I'm going to wrap up this video here. I intend that this has helped. As always, I very much appreciate you guys being on this channel, watching this content. I love making this content for you. And as always, I look forward to seeing you all at the next video. Until then, take care and bye-bye.